Someone asked me, why do you keep living in a dusty, godforsaken backcountry wasteland? Don't you want to go to greener pastures? Find something better out there? Well, I told him a story. See, I had a ranch hand who wanted to break out on his own planting tomatoes. He was sick of shoveling cow patties and running around on hot, dusty earth, so he quits ranching, buys a bit of land, gives it a go. Try as he might, he couldn't get the tomatoes to take. So he moved farms to the next state over, tried again. It took him a while, but he finds a place right in the heart of tomato country. Good news was his tomatoes grew. Bad news was he wasn't as good as everyone else growing tomatoes there, so nobody wanted to buy his. Eventually, he lost all his money trying to make it work and came back looking for a job as a ranch hand. Too bad, too. Had he stuck around, I'd have sold him the ranch. He might be a wealthy man today. Moral of the story? If you like, go out looking for what makes you happy. But you might be looking for a long time, and you might not like what you see when you get there. Tomato farming ain't all it's cracked up to be, and ranching ain't as bad as you think it is. So why do I stay? Because I'm content. Nobody likes a cow patty, but I mind them less when they put a roof over my head, provide food for my family, and keeps us warm in the winter. Content, not complacent. Difference being, when everyone else sees stinking cow patties, I see potential. <laughs> Just different perspective, I suppose.